Um, and so we today are going to finish talking about Bloom's Taxonomy. Um, we've got uh, our daily reminder from Ms. Brown to make sure that we do the check-in. And that link is in the chat for you to access. Um, and let me pull up Bloom's Taxonomy over here on the iPad. Uh, what class is this? Instructional practices? What's this? Um, share my screen. Start the broadcast. Guys, I'm not really an Apple person. Like, I've never had an iPhone. But I have been so grateful for um, the technology that the district has provided us this year. I, I, me specifically as a teacher, um, this has made a big difference for me being able to teach you guys um, and to share stuff with you. Um, so, you know, whenever you have access to technology, it makes things just a little bit easier. So we're going to look at... Um, we're going to look at today the evaluating and creating side. Um, and so evaluating and creating, remember, these are the two highest levels of Bloom's taxonomy. This is, or this is our goal. If we're wanting our students to be critical thinkers, um, if we're wanting them to be um, working at the highest levels of their brain function, um, then we need to be striving to have things in our class going on that are at these evaluating and creating levels. Um, so if you look at evaluating, evaluating is things like testing, scoring, validating, arguing, um, assessing, criticizing, commenting, debating, defending, um, detecting, experimenting, um, hi grading, hypothesizing, measuring, moderating, posting, predicting, Ooh, what time is your meeting, Matthew, right now? Okay, go ahead and go. Susan, you need to go to the meeting, honey. And Angela, uh, Angela, do you have dual classes, hon? Uh... Okay, Angela, go to the meeting. Susan, I think check on the class of 2021 um, Google Classroom and y'all can leave here. This is this is recorded anyway. And then I'll put it up on the website. All right. Bye, honey. Bye, Angela. It's just you and me, Luis, talking about Bloom's taxonomy. What a time to be in class. Hey, where is Kimberly? Well, she could be asleep. I, I would like to be asleep. Um, <laughs> you know what? We should just like play music and dance and put that up in the recording. And then when they watch the recording, they could be like, but I didn't learn anything about evaluating and creating. I'd be like, well, think about that next time. Nah. All right. So evaluating, sorry, predicting, rating, reflecting, reviewing, and editorializing. Um, so a lot of times what we focus on in, in this evaluating section is the reflecting. Um, but one of the things that Mr. Silva and I were talking about recently is we have not, we don't feel like we've done a good job of teaching what reflecting is. Uh, because reflecting is not just today I learned. Um, reflecting is really looking at the information that you've received, right? And then how does that impact me? How does that change my thinking? Excuse me. How does that um, influence what I'm going to do in the future? And so what we're doing with reflecting in classrooms is really not at this high level. Um, what we're doing in reflecting is probably just writing, right? We're just saying, you know, today I learned um, how to multiply. Today I learned how to subtract, you know, whatever it is. Um, when in reflection, what we really should be doing is taking time to think about our learning, to think about our thinking, um, to think about um, how and what do I do with this new information. Um, and so 
we were going to do a group activity on reflecting. If they come back, we'll go ahead and do it. Um, but let's go ahead and go on to creating. So creating is blogging, building, animating, adapting, collaborating, composing. And so for you, Luis, you know, I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to do this, but do you guys write your own music in band? Yeah, and so see, you on your own are working at that creating level. Now, it would be cool if, you know, if your band director said, okay, here's a small group, right? Like, what's it, you know, let's say 10, um, you know, two, one percussion, two woodwinds, two brass, um, you know, just different pieces, right, from the band. And, you know, here's your basic, you know, uh, measurement structure you know i want it to be in four four time i want it to be in this tempo and then have you guys write a piece of music how how cool would that be um for you guys to be able to for so one you're collaborating right because you're all working together um and then two you're composing a piece of music like that would be amazing right Um, and so that would be at those highest levels of, um, of, sorry, those would be at those highest levels of Bloom's taxonomy, if you guys could do something like that. Um, then you have directing, devising, podcasting, um, wiki building is something that's new to me. Um, and I learned about it this summer. But what wiki building is, is it's a combination of two things. It's researching, which is the wiki part of it, right? So like, you know, Wikipedia um, has all of the information about, it's the new encyclopedia, right? Um, and so you get all of this information about a topic. And so then you put it on a website. And so I've seen different wikis out there. Um, I, I look a lot at the Star Trek wiki because, you know, as my family's watching the different Star Trek series, um, I'm like, oh, who is this person? And, oh, what is this? And then I'm, you know, looking at those wikis to find information. Um, so wiki building is where you take like a really deep dive into a topic, um, and then you create a website for it. Um, writing, writing comes up in several places. And so it's the depth of the writing that makes a difference. Um, if you're writing a narrative for an English class, that's not as creative as if you decide that you're going to write a book about a character and and flesh it out and, and make something of it. Um, filming, programming, simulating, role playing. And so, again, this is the second time that something like role playing comes up. Um, but the difference here is that this type of role playing is about scenarios that you are creating. Um, and so in the other one where it talks about acting, you're taking something that's already been developed and constructed and you're adding to it. Whereas role playing here is about you developing the whole process from scratch. Um, you create the script, you create the scenes. Um, everything is something that you have built and developed yourself. Um, solving, mixing, facilitating, managing, negotiating, and leading. And so those are really, really high order level um, level activities, right? And so, so when we think about these activities, we need to start thinking about what can we do online, right? What can I do with the technology that I have? Um, and so this has been a challenge for us, you know, current educators, but it's going to continue to be a challenge for future educators because it doesn't seem like we're going backwards. Um, as more and more students are online, um, more and more students are getting comfortable online, um, more and more of, of parents and families or school and school districts are saying, this is a viable option. This is something that we could really do long term. Um, and so as we think about that, we need to really start thinking about how do we move past that applying level? 
um, because those bottom tiers of that triangle seem to be very, very easy to accomplish. Um, it's moving into those analyzing, evaluating, creating that we need to challenge ourselves to do with our students. Um, and so, um, and so the activity that I wanted you guys to do, because I really wanted you guys to start thinking, I know you have that assignment um, that's due tomorrow. What I really wanted you all to do, like I said, one was look at reflection uh, prompts, like writing prompts that you could create for your class. Um, and then the second thing that we were going to do was look at the uh, building part. Um, because a lot of times we overlook our students whose strengths are things that are manual traits, right? Um, we do a really great job of promoting college. I think we do a really um, poor job of promoting careers. Um, and so, you know, there are students that might not go to college, but they're going to have an amazing career as a welder, as a mechanic, as a carpenter, um, things that don't necessarily require a college degree. Um, and so I wanted you all to kind of develop an activity that was a building activity. Um, obviously, you know, based on the fact that it's just you here, my friend, um, that's not going to happen. Um, but hopefully this gives you something to think about so that you can complete that assignment. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to cut you free pretty early, sir. And you can tell Kim that she missed a great lesson. Yes, I will tell her this afternoon. I'm going to tell her, Kim, you missed, first of all, you missed me having a feeling. And then secondly, you missed the shortest class ever. <laughs> Um, but that's, that's about it, Luis. I mean, I really just wanted to talk about, you know, these last two upper levels. Um, and if you don't have any questions, honey, then you're good to go. And I'll post all this stuff como quiera on the website so that you guys can go back and look at it. Okay. What's up? Mm hmm Right. Right. So that would be here with scoring. Right? So you guys go back. So this, and that's actually part of your reflecting too. Um, so that is at a very high level. You're reflecting, you're assessing yourself. Um, you're probably, you know, making commentary. This could have been better. This could have been you know, this could have been louder or we were out of out of sync here or whatever. Um, and you're either validating the score that you had, um, you know, and especially with you guys, you guys do a lot of prep for for UIL. Um, so there's a lot of rating yourselves. There's a lot of, you know, did I do it? Do I, what do I need to do differently? How can I do it better? And so all of those kinds of activities, all of those are in this high evaluating section. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Very good. That would be perfect. And you could you could probably even throw the experimenting on there where you could ask the kids, okay, you know, let's listen to the performance, right? Because I know that they record a lot of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what you could do, yeah, yeah, because I remember, um, like I said, Mr. Graves, he listens to a lot of the recordings of his band, so I know that there's all kinds of recordings out there, um, but what you could do, too, is even say, like, hey, we're going to record this practice, and then I want you guys to tell me what we can adjust. Right. Because you kind of want to do it before the big one so that you can make those adjustments ahead of time. Um, but you could even say, hey, let's experiment. What do you want to try? 
well, let's try this part louder or let's try this part different or let's try this. And that experiment is, is try and fail, right? Um, so you try it. Okay, no, that sounds worse. Okay, well, then let's try this. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds better. And so you're giving students an opportunity to problem solve. Um, because you want to do those things before the final one that counts for your ranking, right? Um, you don't want to try to do crazy stuff on, at the ranking time. You want to do the crazy stuff beforehand. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anything else, Luis? Cool. Yes. Yes. So based on, yeah, so based on your classroom, what activity, what lesson would you have at this level? What lesson would you have at the knowledge? What level would you have at analyzing? What lesson would you have so that you're showing that you understand how to do those different levels of teaching? Yeah. You're welcome. I'll see you later. Bye.